Vic with V-Twin now, and today we're going to be checking out The Defiant X by Arai. Alright, so here's The Defiant X by Arai, and I can tell you guys right off the bat that this helmet is really cool. Um, they sent this to me a few months back, but I just really hadn't had a chance to take a good look at it. Um, and so I'm really excited to be showing this helmet off to you guys. First thing you need to know about this helmet is, or I actually developed it for the V-Twin market. So that's, that's kind of cool. And if you guys have been following Orai, you guys will know that they're a very good helmet company, probably one of the best in the world. All of their helmets are handmade in Japan. And um, man, just after taking a good look at this helmet, I can tell there's a lot of attention to detail. And we're gonna be going over that. So what we'll do like all of our videos, we're gonna give you guys an up close view of all of the details of this helmet. So we'll start on the outside of the helmet and then kind of work our way inside. So as you guys can tell, this is a black helmet. Um, now, as you might imagine, Arai offers this style helmet in a bunch of different colorways with different graphic decals, uh, the whole nine yards, but I'm a pretty simple guy. All of my helmets are typically gloss black or like a matte finish black. And this helmet is no different. The matte black, what Arai calls it, is their black frost. So it's not as flat as like a primer color. Um, and it does have a little bit of sheen, but definitely not as shiny as a gloss black. So again, this color that you see right here is called the Black Frost. Yeah, I mean, there's not much else to say about, about the finish. It's just really, really good looking. So what we'll do is we'll start out with, uh, you have these front air ducts right here, right? As you can see, they open and close in two different positions. So you can kind of open them all the way or you can kind of click them back halfway and, and let like half as much air in. On the front of the helmet, you also have these little, uh, not vents, but openings right here on the face shield. And behind there, which I'll get to in a minute, there's actually openings. So there's some more air ducts inside the helmet behind these little flap windows. I don't know what Arai calls them necessarily, uh, but those, those are really cool. So that's additional air coming in. That's going to help dissipate a fogged lens. This will definitely help with that. On the front of the helmet, near the chin, you have these two openings right here, and that's gonna bring air in cool you off and what you guys don't see which i'll show you guys in a few minutes is these uh, vents right here can actually be kept open or closed so there's like a switch behind each of these so if you don't want as much air maybe it's colder you want to close those you're able to do that and i think it's just a really nice touch they have kind of like a wire mesh behind uh the little openings that you see right here so on the side of the helmet, you have vents right here on both sides. And what that is going to do is that is going to, uh, those are like exhaust vents. So you have air coming in through the chin, right? And then you have these vents right here that pull the air out. And again, when we get inside the helmet, I'll show you there's actually channels built into the helmet that help direct the air in and suck the air out. On the back of the helmet, you have some more exhaust vents that you can open and close in a few different, um, like halfway, you can open it all the way. So that's pretty cool right here. And the switches are nice and big, so you shouldn't have a problem if you're wearing your gloves, opening and closing these. Same thing with the vents on the top. On the back of the helmet, you'll notice you have this Defiant X DOT, so this is a dot and um, this helmet I believe is also yes this helmet is also Snell so it has a Snell rating and on the front you have a very tastefully positioned gloss black Arai logo right there so that looks nice on the bottom of the helmet you have a nice thick rubber trim on the bottom front of the helmet you'll notice a fixed chin curtain and what this is going to do is going to block a lot of wind noise from coming inside the helmet 
All right, so let's talk about their VAS shield system. They have a bunch of different options, as you guys might imagine. Here's the dark smoke, and I don't really ride that much at night, so having the, the dark lens or the dark tinted lens is not a big deal. But I also had them send me a mirror finish, so you can wear this at night and this will work just fine. And then um, during the daytime, this will also block out a lot of sun and the helmet comes with this clear visor right now. Um, so that's really cool. Let me show you guys how to take these off. So lift the shield up, it's pretty easy. All you do is put your finger underneath this lever, pull up while you're also uh, lifting up this little tab on the face shield and it comes up really easily, as you guys will notice, just like that. Put it right back down. Again, lift up on this little lever right here while pulling up on this lip, and then it comes up super easy, just like that, all right? Uh, another cool feature about this system is that if you do get a little bit of fogging inside and you want to lift up the face shield, but you don't want all this air coming inside, all you do is lift up on this tab just a little bit, and it lifts this shield up um, just enough to let air in and then when you want to push it back down you know with your with your glove just pop it back down to take the shield off it's also very easy again pull up on that lever pull up on the shield and it comes up just like that okay there's a button right here on the side of the helmet what you're going to do is you're gonna push that button in you are push it in and this thing pops off just like that all right you're gonna push on this little button right here, the same button that you use to pop this side cover off. All you're gonna do is press that all the way in. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lower the shield so this brass button right here lines up with that red dot right there. And then all you're gonna do is pull up on the shield and take it off just like that. And you'll do the exact same thing to the other side of the helmet. And now you have your shield off the helmet. So we're gonna put the helmet aside and show you the shield. Um, this is, again, this is the VAS or VAS shield system. These shields, some of them do feature pin lock, which pin lock, what that does is it allows you to put another piece of shielding inside this shield and it it's anti-fog essentially. So I don't have a lot of experience with pin lock, but I know this helmet features shields that incorporate pin lock technology. Those aren't included when you buy the helmet, the extra uh, pin lock shields inside, but they're available on the Arai website if you wanna order them. So now that I have the shield off, uh, I wanna show you some other vents they have that you couldn't see when it was on. So here are the little eye ports that I was telling you about behind. So when you open, when you open these right here, you let air in those hit these eye ports right here. So really cool stuff, air's coming in, nice flow, it's gonna keep your head nice and cool. And then you also have some venting right here above like the mouthpiece, so that's pretty cool. So now let's take a look inside the helmet and show you a couple other cool features. As I mentioned earlier in the video, you have the ability to open and close these vents right here, these ports. You have two red levers and each of those opens and closes. Another thing to note about this helmet is that it's made with the highest quality materials. Arai uses uh, proprietary adhesives with a number of different layering composites for this helmet that makes it just really strong. And they have a composite band that goes along the inside of the helmet on the actual shell right here that's supposed to increase strength of the helmet um, but yet also it also uh, keeps it very lightweight so the helmet is uses lighter weight materials but they're just as strong as maybe a heavier helmet so inside the helmet also you have your styrofoam material that's below the composite shell. And you'll notice you have holes inside of the styrofoam and that's going to promote uh, airflow. If you'll notice right here, you can actually see the airflow ducts on each side of the helmet. You'll notice the chin straps have padding on them. 
and they just have these metal loops. So that's pretty standard on most helmets. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about the flexibility you have in terms of padding inside the Defiant X. So first thing we'll go over is the cap right here. I don't know if that's the official term. I'm just gonna call it the cap because when you put it on your head, it looks like a little cap. It looks like one of those little old school football, <laughs> leather football helmets from like the 20s or, or whenever. So, so here it is. And again, I mentioned this earlier in the video, but the fabric on the inside of this helmet is all antimicrobial. That's gonna keep your helmet from smelling as bad. You can also wash these. Although I'm not sure if you would put this kind of stuff in the washing machine or not, but definitely some soap and water by hand um, under the sink, I think would be sufficient. Another cool feature about this inside cap right here is you can adjust it. The foam in here on the side, so that the part that covers up your temple, you can remove this piece. Like I'll remove it for you right now. It has kind of like a little sticky adhesive and you can put it right back in um, the side of the helmet if you want to go with a little bit more of a snug fit. So I haven't seen that in a lot of other helmets, so that's a really cool innovation from Arai. Because you know, your, 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 your head is not necessarily exactly medium, large, or extra large. It comes in all different shapes and sizes, and so having options to customize, essentially, the inside of your helmets, I think is really cool. So you got a lot of padding up top and uh, let's move on to the next piece. Here are your chin pads, I guess, the padding for your chin. These covers can come off and again, you have some layering that's removable. I forgot how many millimeters you can remove. I think it's maybe like five millimeters, but when you take these off, you can actually remove a slice of this padding to give you more room. and. I don't know exactly what you call this piece right here. I'm going to call it your neck harness, your neck roll, <laughs> neck padding. I don't know what you call it, but this again, covered in that antimicrobial fabric. It's removable as you can see right here. And it's really easy to put right back inside the helmet. All right. So what I'll do now is toss this helmet on that way you guys get a good feel of what this helmet will look like on your dome. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but this is what the Arai Defiant X looks like. I think that will do it for our feature on the Arai Defiant X. I really like this helmet um, and I think you guys will too. That being said, please make sure you visit vtwinnow.com where we post all of our videos and other product um, parts and accessory news. Make sure you subscribe to our video channel, hit that notification bell. That way when we post up new videos, you guys are the first to know about it. For more information on this helmet, visit ariamericas.com and you can also click on some links provided in the description below to get a great price on this particular helmet. When you click on the links below, um, you also help support vtwinnow.com. Thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one.